I want to I want to unpack it a little bit further because this is sure. so interesting. Like, I don't think I knew, um, like, in the many years that I've known you, I don't think I knew that you, until I read your bio to you in your presence in that very awkward fashion a few moments ago, that you'd started in radio. And it's it's really interesting hearing you talk yeah. about your origin story, beginning in radio and moving into journalism. And this question around like journalism and art sort of existing in this space that like, I wouldn't say is competing, but it's sort of interrelating with, e with each other because I see it so clearly in some of your cinematic work. And, you know, it feels like, I mean, hearing you talk about the way that you came in from this perspective of, you know, wanting to tell untold stories, wanting to manifest like discourse around specific individuals or communities that you feel like are significant that aren't having their stories told. And the way that you sort of think about principles of journalism and frameworks for fairness and manifesting truth and objectivity in your work. And that all feels really clear and really sort of like baked in from this standpoint of like sort of journalistic principles. But then at some point also in your career, like you you personally start to manifest your own perspectives, your own emotional experience, your own lived experience into the work that you're creating, even though you're not explicitly telling your own story through nonfiction yeah. film, but there's thematic threads of stories that you're telling that are also sort of like resonating with your own life experience that are drawing you in and you know, looking at ways, not to say that your journalistic work is 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 not emotional but like in ways that sort of like deepen sort of the emotional experience through like a long form documentary in a way that maybe we wouldn't get as much in depth in a piece of journalism and i feel like this is sort of an interesting way into talking about um your first uh, uh long form film um for pbs which premiered at sundance like you like we mentioned outlawed in pakistan um, because while you're telling the stories of other people, I know from working with you during the development of this project, it was also sort of deeply personally important to you mm -hmm. for specific reasons. And I'm curious sort of like to hear you talk about what drew you to making that as sort of your first sort of long form cinematic work. And then also, and I, I don't want to take for granted that this was the case, but like how did that sort of start to move you into a place of like deepening your creative practice in a different way to sort of think about the way that you sort of tell like a more cinematic um emotionally more character driven story than you might have done previously potentially in some of your journalism work yeah i i think the way i approached that story initially was i wanted to tell the stories of women in pakistan who were resisting in some way. So I was, I was, it was drawn to the story of resistance. I didn't really know what, what kind of resistance. I didn't want to like have it, you know, be formulaic. I just was intrigued by so many ways women in my life and women from Pakistan resist every day. And we just don't hear about them. We just sort of always, the way I would hear about women in the media from Pakistan or from, um, frankly, lots of South Asian countries in, in very submissive ways that felt icky to me. Like, I'm like, no, that is, that's not it. <laughs> um, so I was drawn to initially that quest of finding stories of, about women and talking to women who were resisting in whatever way or form in their world, in their life. Um, and I started to follow the journey, uh, journeys of multiple women, actually. I didn't think that this was going to be about one woman and, and her experience. Um, I started with, I think, four characters. Um, and then pretty soon, I think it became clear that her story needed more space than, and, and, and you know, that's the story then. Um, Kainat Samro's story is the one that sort of the film focuses on. Um, and basically, the film is about um, a, a teenager in Pakistan who accuses four men from her village of um, raping her. And we follow this in the film for five years. We follow her journey as she takes this to the Pakistani courts um, to fight her case in, in an environment where not a lot of people have faith in the courts. So it's, it's intriguing to me is like, why would you take this on? Why would you, why would you seek justice in this way? What's important to you about that? Um, but at the same time, we were also following 
the men in this case, um, who she had alleged of raping her, their journey into the through the courts and um, and I thought that was and I think that's where the journalism um, or journalist in me kind of comes in. I think there's a lot to learn from people and and the lives of people who we might not agree with. Um, and I, you know, talking to them, there's a scene in the film where I think three of the men are sitting around and are talking about how they've been wronged by Kainat because she's taking them to court. And, and their conclusion here is, you know, clearly she's wrong because what kind of a woman would go to court and come in front of the media? Like clearly she's a, you know, some derogative or like clearly she's a slut or something like she's, you know, she's not worthy of, of being in the society kind of thing. Um, and I think that's really intriguing to me, not whether, whether you thought that they committed the crime or not, that thought process and that worldview, I, I think this is really interesting. And really, if we're going to have conversations about how do we talk within our own community um, about these kinds of issues, I think it's important to kind of have a conversation with men as well, um, whatever their perspective that they're bringing it to, to the table. So that that I found that to be a really illuminating conversation um, with them. And um,